Hello guys and let's start our video today with a very important reminder. Russia is not the same as Russian Federation, though many sources use these terms as interchangeable. Russian Federation consists, attention, of 22 national republics, 22 among which Russia is one. Of course, not all of these republics have the desire or potential to become independent, but many do, like Bashkorostan. Many of you have learned the name of this national republic in the east of Russia because of the protests, actually largest protests in the start of full-scale invasion in Ukraine. But after a brief appearance on the headlines, what do we know about Bashkorstan and protesters now? Let me update you on this very important precedent that may lead in future to the dissolution of Russian Federation and birth of many new democratic and not that democratic but still free republics. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So, on the 15th and 17th of January, there were lots of news about very strong protests in Bashkortostan. Bashkortostan is a republic, a national republic in Russian Federation, one of 22. And actually, in 1990, it proclaimed its sovereignty and both in the Constitution of Russian Federation and in the Constitution of Bashkortostan, it is described as a separate state. But of course, Russia does not respect any laws internal or external and we see it vividly. So, protests were caused by the imprisonment of an activist, Fail Alsinov, who was actually a supporter of uh, ecological protection of the region and he was fighting against illegal and extremely bad for natural resources mining of gold. An important reminder, Bashkortostan is one of the richest in mineral resources, various ores, coal, oil and um, gold republics. And this is actually one of those lands from which Russia steals its resources and pretends to be that rich. Actually, it is not the wealth of Moscow and surrounding, but the wealth of such republics as Bashkortostan. And Russia takes away all of their resources, starting from mineral, ores, coal, and finishing with people that are sent to the front lines or elsewhere. So, people went on the protest because of extremely bad methods of this gold mining and very quickly uh, this activist was uh, arrested, he got four years in prison and uh, the reasons for which he was imprisoned were totally distorted traditionally, claiming that he is an extremist and uh, that he is also a Nazi, a very traditional um, accusation of Russian regime, which is actually what this word describes. What is important, uh, the majority of leaders in such republics are supported by Kremlin and are oligarchs, interested in this or um, coal mining, uh, gold mining and other uh, resources because traditionally oligarchs never care about their country. That's why we have to fight against Russia, oligarchs and all the other evil that wants to spoil life on this planet. And remember to subscribe to demonstrate your solidarity. So, uh, when people went out on the protest very quickly, mobile connection, internet connection were out and what is most important many were imprisoned at least 64 officially but people speak about hundreds of those who were arrested and actually two people were killed in the results of this protest uh, because of unknown reasons but and one person severely injured with the spine broken can you imagine the force they applied Amnesty International traditionally expressed its concerns, saying that Bashkortostan leaders exaggerated the violence against the protesters, but we all know it will finish in 
nothing. Like everybody knows, every international organization understands Russia commits war crimes in Ukraine, there are no elections in Russia, Navalny was killed, but all they can do is express concerns or sympathies. So that is actually very uh, sad. But at this moment, uh, many people are uh, under investigation and on uh, trial. But what is extremely uh, important, they are awakening. And there are lots of videos of Bashkir people asking their soldiers who are in Ukraine to return back home, not to follow Putin's orders, but to come back and protect their own motherland. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Bashkortostan for you to feel how different it is from uh, the rest of Russian Federation. And once again, I will remind you about a really good video that we have on the channel about the potential dissolution of Russia and why it is not that unrealistic and why it is not that dangerous as many claim. So do check the video. Uh, but at this moment, yeah, I've prepared the plan of the things I want to tell you. At this moment, uh, Russia does everything to destroy such nations in general. And if you look at the way they use war in Ukraine to perform this awful social and demographic cleanings, uh, you will be also terrified because once again, this reminds mid-30s in Europe, in Germany. So Bashkortostan is a huge republic, uh, like a normal European country. It has 144,000 square kilometers of uh, size. It has 4 million of inhabitants, the majority of which are Bashkirs. They have their own language, but they were severely Russified. And also they uh, follow uh, the religion of Islam and their traditions like are very different from what Ruski Mir doctrine is trying to uh, spread all around. Also, uh, they border with Udmurtia and Tatarstan. These are two more Russian Federation republics that tried uh, to become independent at the beginning of 90s and actually have really strong anti-Kremlin movements. And I think it's our obligation. I mean, of all people, of all secret organizations and various uh, NGOs to support such movements for liberation and freedom inside Russian Federation, because these are nations that give hope to this eternally totalitarian uh, territory. What is most important, the majority of these republics were occupied not that long ago, somewhere in the mid or end 19th century. And once again, in 1990, Bashkortostan proclaimed sovereignty and it is a state in its own constitution and in the constitution of uh, Russian Federation. <clears throat> and we all know why Russia needs these territories, because they are rich in mineral resources that Russia, poor Russia, known only for dig and sell economy, then uh, steals from this republics, not retaining it with taxes and other stuff, and then gives to or bribes other partners like China. And uh, they are actually working really hard in Kremlin not to decentralize uh, power as in all democratic countries, but on contrary to centralize, because this is one of the ways to secure the presence of these republics in a federation because they don't have local elites and the majority of them are Kremlin-controlled oligarchs interested in the exhaustions of these natural resources that protests in Bashkortostan were about, but hopefully can grow in something bigger. Anyway, I think it's our duty to understand the essence of Russian Federation and its potential dissolution, which will not harm our future. Also, we are keeping a close eye on the funeral of Navalny that may happen uh, the next days. And it's really interesting for me to see if it will bring any protest to Moscow, uh, if there is any hope in Russian population. Let me know what do you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. It's a privilege and honor to have you in my life. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram. I share more of everyday life there. Also, I'm, thre I'm on threads, Twitter and Discord. And we have a beautiful merch shop, the link to which you may find in the description of this video. But most importantly, united we stand. Talk to those who doubt, persuade those who are tired. We have to win this war and we have everything to do that. 
Good must prevail. Slava Ukraini!